So anyways, these guys are fucking jabbing this dude in the ribcage harder and harder. And then all of a sudden, three, four fans jump out of the stands. And they start running at the cops. And then the cops literally look up. They look like, you ever see like those, those, when the fucking couple of lions take down a zebra or some shit and they begin to feed and then all of a sudden 40 hyenas show up and then they got to give up the kill? That's basically what happened. They looked up and they're like, oh shit, four on four. So they stood up and they try to have a we're cops, are you out of your mind? I made you kind of vibe. And then all of a sudden those four showing up made another 20 people come out of the stands and next thing you know, the cops are on the run. And then they get fucking beaten down. One guy in particular gets stomped even worse, way worse, actually, than the other fucking guy. It actually goes from from shocking to amazing to hilarious to fucking disgusting very quickly. You know, because, you know, you're always watching these guys getting beaten. This is a fellow sports fan. I don't know. It's one of those things that I always wanted to ask a cop, like... Why do you guys, you got a guy down, he's face fucking down. I'm not being a dick. I'm not judging what you do. I don't have your job. I'm just asking. You got a guy face down. Somebody's got their knee on the guy, back of the guy's neck. Somebody else is sitting on his fucking legs. The most he can do is squirm like half an inch. All right? And the guy won't let you cuff him. You know, why not, why rather than just taking an extra 30 seconds to let this guy tire out and then just cuff him. Why do you start booting him in the head or, 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 you know, doing atomic knee drops to his spine? Why is that done? I do have a theory. There's 60,000 fucking fans there, and you have like 100 cops. You know? And when I really think about it, the amount of times I've been drunk when I'm at a game and I think about running out on the field... The sobering thought is is taking that atomic knee drop to my fucking spine. And, you know, I got busted for drinking and driving back in the late fucking 80s, you know, back when they were actually considering making it possibly an Olympic sport, you know. It was right on that, that you know, but then the mad mothers against drink, drinking and driving, they, they won. It's very close. It's like when Quebec wanted to secede from Canada. Like, it almost fucking happened. Um... Summer Olympics, by the way. Let's not get crazy. It wasn't going to be in the winter. Um, too much degree of difficulty. But anyways, the, the, all those memories of the beatdown that people take, plus the nightmare of the one time I was in the court system and somebody had my driver's license and there, were, there was fines and classes and meetings and, and community service. It just all just, I don't care how many drinks I've had. I'm just, I'm like, I'm not fucking doing it. Is that why you guys do it? Sorry, I had the hiccups. Bacon, egg, and cheese here, people. I'm off my oatmeal diet on the road here. Um, is that why? Is that why it happens? I've always wondered that shit. I kind of actually, I understand why you come up to the window of a car and because at any point, I get if if I if any point I could get shot in the head and die on my job, I guess I would be on edge too. But I would just love to hear it from a cop because right, all I'm doing is speculating. So we have a couple of we have a video like that this week. We have another hilarious video of a cop pulls over this uh, minivan, and I swear to God, the amount of immigrants that run out of this fucking van it is unbelievable. Every time you think the last wave of eight people runs out of this fucking van, another door opens and another seven people come flying out. And they got Benny Hill music playing, and it's the funniest thing ever. This cop gets so overwhelmed, he doesn't catch anybody. It's like a fat kid. If it was raining candy, he'd be every time he gets some in his hand, he'd want to go catch some more, and he'd drop whatever's in his fucking hand. That's basically what happened. Fucking hilarious video. I want to thank people who uh, sent both of those videos in. Um, we kind of we kind of have all cop videos this week because I'm trying I'm trying to draw them out of the weeds here. Because I want to do a Monday morning podcast select with a uh, a retired police officer, and I want to hear all these these stories. We did interview a, a cop on Uninformed, but uh, I want to do it again because I, I have even more questions now. Um, there's another one where a guy <laughs> he he's getting arrested. I don't know what for. It's one of those videos that starts after the altercation starts. As far as I can tell, 
he changed his name and didn't do it in a legal way. But he's being like a rebel. I'm not your property. But the funny thing is, is this guy knows his rights. And one of the funniest things, one of my favorite police videos to watch is when the person getting arrested, like, knows their rights. You know? Like this cop one time said to this little skater going, give me that skateboard. And he goes, no. And it's just one of those things as, as a citizen, you don't realize, yeah, like, wait a minute. No, you don't have the right to just take my, you're so like, do everything the cop says so he doesn't uh, arrest you or, uh, or beat the shit out of you. You know, you just feel like if you just say no to a cop, you're automatically going to get arrested. Well, this guy is fucking hilarious. They're going, you're under arrest. And he goes, what's the charge? What is the charge? And the guy goes, it doesn't matter. And he's like, yes, it does. I have a right to know as a citizen. I am not your property. I am the property of Yahweh. <laughs> this guy, I absolutely fucking love this guy. This guy, he has passion. He's informed. He's a little fucking crazy. Uh, he, is a, he is a true fucking patriot. Without a doubt, every the amount of people who would watch this guy and because he yells Yahweh would just say that he's a fucking, he's a nut job, is actually a travesty.